Good evening my stitchy friends and welcome to my channel Stitcherella. Well today is Friday so guess what we are continuing with nine count Fridays. I just grabbed this one she's still in the hoop so I decided to leave her as B. I've been up and down today we didn't have power for a long time again well that's life when it came back on I charged everything um, I spoke to friends and I got lost there so <laughs> I am here the phone is charged and we can stitch like you know I've got a lot of kids in my house today at the moment there's only four I'm used to two and then as the weekend goes, this is the, the kids that sleeps over and the rest comes over for a day. So if you hear noise, well, I can't help it, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's a mad rush to get everything done. And tomorrow, I will see what time there is, but I'm going to try and do unboxing. Otherwise, we're just doing silky Saturdays. But I want to try and stick a unboxing in there. I've got beautiful things to show you. Very, very pretty things. I asked yesterday, I asked Spain some way. I got um, some pictures there that that I really want in pillowcases. And it was on today. It looks like Madeline Monroe. It isn't her, but it looks like her. With skulls. And they are amazing. They're so, so pretty. I think I told you about it yesterday, but yeah, are they there today? I just want to see what's going on out there, you go. I finished, I, there was a few stitches on the thread I didn't finish last time. I finished it now on that side before I started. Yes, so I can start with a new thread, <coughs> excuse me, and it felt so thin and this fe feels so thick again, so I don't know, thick, thin, thick, thin, I don't know. We'll just to make do with what we get, right? Hmm. We'll see how it comes out in the end. Still busy on the face and we'll still be busy with this one for a long time. It's a, it's a big one. Because I don't work like you know on it. And last week I didn't work much, much in my free time. I did work but not a lot. And next week will be the same. I made a mistake yesterday, so by the way. I told you this week is, and next weekend, it's it's not with his birthday next weekend. This week coming, and this weekend, we're working on that major project again. And mom is coming to help me tomorrow. And then next week, the week after, the 8th of September. Yeah, I don't have my dates wrong there. So it was quite a relief that... It's not weekend on weekend on weekend. And um, next weekend my mom's visiting me. And the weekend after that's Alex's birthday. So I got my bearings right now. I'm still rushing around. Because we, we just got power. And then I chat to friends. And still had to cook. I still had to make the video. And what I did. Is I took out pasta and stuff that I have to make so while I record Mike said he'll make sure the pasta is cooked I can just do the sauces when I'm done so that is a big help my foot that's doing better I still it pains on because I'm trying to use it a little bit more still pains but when I don't have to I stay off it but I can't always stay off it it's not possible it is actually quite impossible and then Lola, oh man, she is awesome. I took her for her um, follow-up today. And they say she's doing very, very well. The red inside the side of her mouth, they're still, it's a bit swollen. But that she got 15 teeth pulled. So, but she's playing and eating and promise you it does not stop it's like a new thing to her now she just she eats normally but now oh my word now if she sees me she sits next to me and I know she's asking for food so I keep feeding her so she gets over it <laughs> just wants to eat more me 
sitting watching me now. Your Lord. Come, come, Papa. That's it, baby. Come say hello to people. Sitting here right next to me. Me and my sidekick. Hey, Lord. Is your mom is a girl. Is your mom is a girl. She wants to get on my lap. But she can't get on now because I've got my knees pulled up with the hoop um, stuck on the one side of my arm. So the way I sit, she can't sit on my lap. And she's not happy about it. I promise you that much. Not happy at all. Oh, what a day. Have you ever had a day? This probably is going to sound weird to you now. But it feels like I'm living in deja vu. I don't know if you know what I mean. But I totally feel like I'm living in deja vu. I don't know why. I can't get myself out of the deja vu thing. And tomorrow is a hectic year at us. So, yeah, from <laughs> deja vu to hectic. Because everyone's coming to fix everything and the mom's coming here and, you know, I would actually like it to be tomorrow this time because then the storm has passed. But a day goes quickly, right? It's just thinking of what has to be done then I think, oh, it's so much. But I must stay positive and just grab it by the horns and do it, right? It's the only way we get things done. Just stay positive and do it. Because now the kids, you can probably hear them in the background, they change their plan. They want to do this and that. And tomorrow, once it is on paper, it is gone. No more changing, no more done. No, nothing. It's just done and dusted and we finished. Here you go. Now, I wanted to finish recording and then go and cook, but I thought Alex is bad, but I have a few of them together. Man, I know. It's like, you know, when you watch TV and they say, they, they show what locusts do to, to fields. It's like that. They just eat everything and anything they see. Eat, 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 eat. Most important thing for them is to eat. I don't know where it all goes, but it goes somewhere. <laughs> A lot. Hi, loves. Hi, Popo. Oh, you guys had to see today Mike sitting and I'm sitting in front seat. And we put Lola in the back because she's got a big cage she's in. And, um, oh, she cried. She hates sitting in the back. She hates me not touching her. She was so scared. After a while, Mike had to stop, put her on my lap with that big cage so I can just rub her head so she can calm down. Because nothing was wrong. She just doesn't like driving. And I think after she's been in hospital, she doesn't like the cage and driving even more because I left her somewhere. And she was so relieved when the doctor is finished with her, the vet, and um, I took her home. She was so happy. My, my little sidekick. And Abby is also, she's quiet. She played with the boys now. now. And now she's in her room again, just chilling. And everyone's waiting for food. It's a never, ever, ever, never, ever ending vicious cycle of feeding <laughs> that's what it feels like but as long as they're healthy healthy is good just want to see uh, I can hear Alex going on there he's having a time of his life with his buddies you know it's nice when the kids have good friends comes over and they love being kids love being at my house and I'm strict I don't let them do what they want but uh, it's nice 
I'll check up on them. But I can hear them. They hear close to me. But always check up on kids because they up to no good so soon. You know, you were young ones too. <laughs> if you see a gap and you're naughty, you might just take it. Right, they they good kids, but never say never. Never ever say never. That is ridiculous to even think that, right? Some of my equipment is arriving um, on Sunday. I'll see if everything's in there that I need to start recording with my new equipment. I'm super, super excited. <laughs> I can't wait. It is amazing. My life has literally just been thrown head over heels by by my fairy godmother. Thank you, Laurie. Yeah, never expected it. Never. It just happened. That was like, whoa. Well, thank you. I'm so, so grateful. Excitement, excitement, excitement. It's probably going to take me a while to get used to it. I'm promising you guys lives and yes i'll do a live but remember i must still figure out how to do a live <laughs> i know on the phone it's easy but i'm not going to record on the phone anymore i'm going to do a proper one so i must still figure everything out stressing about that but just give me a chance so i can finish with this old school thing and when school's or holidays then i've got all my time to myself Never all my time to myself, but you know what I mean. Then I've received some parcels. Lots of beautiful things. They're not doing reprints. They're removing stuff, but there's some of the stuff is getting reprinted. But I see, I think, um, I don't know if it was, but two of my South African friends also ordered the, the Madeleine Monroe. I did not order the Madeleine Monroe normal kit. I ordered the Madeleine Monroe, Monroe, blah, 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 blah. Madeleine Monroe pillow kit. Same picture, guess what? The kit they got, it's got 28 or 29, but I'm sure it's 28 colors. And my pillow kit has got 50 colors. You see, that's the difference. It upsets me, but we can do as much as we can. We have to stand up and talk. And but I've done that, and it's over now. But still, they they that stuff came before, but it's marked work on now. So now it is what it is. It is what it is. I've seen that um, FG Normal has not marked this stuff. You must be very careful. It's not marked. Be careful what you choose not marked you must make sure make sure before you buy anything to avoid disappointment right we don't like disappointment I want to talk to you about something have you ever just sat and and wished there was someone that that stitches like you a lot like you and but but that can sit with you and stitch or sure. You know, I've got all of you, I know that, and I love you. But I mean in person, that you can sit and you stitch. And I've got my mom, but my mom I, my mom doesn't only stitch, and her passion, passion for stitching is not as great as mine. She also does other things, but she stitches. But someone that's addicted to it, like me. Just a chat person in person. I say maybe we must do that lives and see how it goes. Yeah, I feel like having company today. That's weird, right? <laughs> I don't know. Weird. Am I weird? Am I not? Is it normal? I don't know. I'm just in a mood for company. I'm so tired of my phone. The phone is driving me silly dilly. Very, very much so. Oh. I got the best book in the world today, but I will tell you about that at a later stage. I just want to talk to someone about it and then I will tell you what I want to tell you. Very excited. I am, it's, I'm doing a new venture, but it's not 
like YouTube or something I share with everybody. It's something personal that I always wanted to do and I am taking the bull by the horns. I'll tell you more about that when I, when I can. So super excited about that. And I want to spend some time on that as well. At least two hours a day. It's just after this hustle and bustle is over. It's just, um, you know, when you do something for yourself and learn something new. It's something like that. Something you always wanted to do, but you must, must actually spend the time and do it properly. Oh, and I can't wait. I'll tell you all about it. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Let me just, let me just, um, I'm, I'm early bird. Let me tell you tomorrow, okay? Lols. She's trying to get in under my hoop. My stitchy family. Lola is actually trying to get in under the hoop. When, um, today, I wasn't, I was somewhere, I think outside. Car, I was looking through painting stuff and I asked Mike to feed Lola and the cat didn't know I go out because she didn't know and she was pining and crying and didn't want to eat until I came back in how cute is that how cute is that it's my little my little lols a beautiful thing yeah tomorrow is also busy because everyone's here fixing everything we're doing that that um that project but i've got a few cartons yeah but there's no you know they changed their plan so we must sit and plan it properly and do the whole business plan and then me and the mom will decide okay you do this placard or you do this printing and i do this writing so all those things must still be done and it feels like it is a mountain in front of me it is ridiculous truly ridiculous i'm telling you giving me nightmares <laughs> I'm having very very much trouble a lot of trouble sleeping again and now I'm not sick I don't know why my voice does this <clears throat> but um, uh, last night I slept less than three hours I get this terrible night sweats but I'm not sick it's the menopause thing so I've, I've found a natural remedy to ease it, but it's on the way. It will, will have to order it. Not expensive. Very, it's a very affordable thing just to ease the night sweats and wake him up every two hours. Because last night I, I went to sleep for less than an hour and I woke up and I couldn't go back to sleep. And when I went back to sleep, I slept less than two hours then I had to wake up for the kids. So I didn't go back to sleep. So it's affecting me a bit because I'm, I feel drained. But nothing else. Not sick, not nothing. That's just the issue of the sleep now. You can't do nothing about it. The only thing I can do is try a few natural remedies and see if it works. But we'll see. I've googled a few natural things. There was one that is very, very popular and women says it works. It's really affordable. It's not it's really not expensive. So I'm going to try it. And if it's working, I promise you, I'll stash up for a month or two. <laughs> because it's hectic. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> what do you have there for? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Now you can. Mike is laughing, yeah. Because he walked into the room and Lola's hiding under my leg. Thank you, baby. Just brought me tea. Lola is hiding under my leg because he came in with the syringe and she needs to take one and a half pill. So it's, it's lots. Antibiotics twice a day. And he crushed it and then he mixes it. She doesn't want to eat it on the food. She's not stupid. She smells it and then she looks at us like we're crazy. So what we do, then we crush it in the syringe of water and he gives it to her. And he started laughing when he came in the door because she saw him and she came hiding under my leg. If I'm alone, I'll give it to her. But I can't get, um, get it over my heart to 
I can't do that. I can't force her to drink something she doesn't want to. So Mike is the bad guy. He has to do it. And he folds her in a towel and he does it properly, but I can't do it. So she saw him and you guys had to see what she did. She bolted in under my leg. Very funny. That's why he's giggling. Yeah. There you go. I lost a bit of, like, was out of touch for quite a while today with this electricity. Because what happened, everything was flat. Batteries, everything just went flat. And then you cut off from the world. And you don't know what's going on. So I'm just too happy. We've got electricity. Maybe later watch a movie with Mike. Kids are busy, so watch a movie and relax. Maybe eat some popcorn. I like popcorn. Do you guys like popcorn? We've got something here in South Africa. I don't know if it's a worldwide thing or what you call it where you stay, but you buy it in packets like you buy crisps. You call it crisps, like crisps. That's what you call it, right? Or we call it chips. Chips and the ones you make in oily slop chips. Okay, but your crisps. Psst, psst, psst that you <laughs> you buy this popcorn like that but it's caramelized and we it's diddle daddle diddle daddle caramelized popcorn oh that is such good popcorn but the popcorn we eating tonight is just normal ones we make ourselves yeah quick quick job job done let me see I took so much of that out okay so yes okay I'm still working, but I, I've prepared a lot of this, and the inner face of hers is done. So when I do the next one, I think we go down here, and we work down here, but... Ah, I am waiting, wait for it, wait for it, I'm waiting for a nine count silk. Ah, I can't wait to get it. I'm not doing it right away because we will be doing this one and then I'll probably I'm not going to do a nine count silk or nine count day I'll do that castle I must work on that big thing one day I'll do that one on silky Saturdays but it's quite an interesting nine count silk it's beautiful I love peacocks and it's a peacock alrighty then I'm going to be back in a second Okay, and I am back. I just had to go and check on the the food there. Mike is still keeping it going for me. He mm. must just check the pasta so it's all done. The water was boiling. And then I'll go and fix the sauce. And I spoke to my friend, my fairy godmother, Laurie, quickly. And that's why I haven't told you what I'm doing. Because um, I will tell you tomorrow. <laughs> when I came back from checking the food, Lola was jumping up and down, and I got a little toy here, and it's got catnip in it, and she is destroying it. <laughs> it's like a little butterfly. Give me that toy. Try and take it quickly, Mike. No, no, no. no I no. want to show my viewers, please. My stitchy family. I'm to pick the cat up with it. No, thing. just grab it. She's gonna bite you. Come, Lola. Come, Baba. Okay, so oh, it's flu. Oh, it's uh, but look there, it's like this. She but she got it. it. She molds it. She she's eating it. What what is happening? She is trying to rip it apart. She shouldn't. Let's <laughs> make sure she doesn't. <laughs> so she is loving it and playing with a little butterfly. She's very cute, my little Lola. Now my fingers are sticky. That's not good. I got some Lola goo on it. <laughs> I don't mind. She's gumming it. She's not eating it. Oh, yeah. Mike sees one. <laughs> Mike says she's gumming it, not eating it. They took 15 teeth out. But she's like a new cat. She is playing and she's, you know, she was always cute and, and everything. And she's just different, but in a good way and, and, and very alive. So she feel very bad about it because then she lived in pain for quite a while. To get it to a point She's where so the personality gone. changed. Well, I'm recording, but you can talk. She's playing with her toy. 
<laughs> Alex came she's to not... check in on Lola. Dad says she's not chewing it, she's mauling it with her gums. She is. <laughs> she's good. But now, be careful for my stuff. I'm recording, boy. Be careful for my stuff. <laughs> Alex came to join us a bit. And I promise you he's going to, he want to ask me how far is the food. Is that why you yell? No, I just wanted to annoy your cat. Oh. <laughs> he just wants to annoy my cat. That's not nice. But then anyway, before I started recording, he came in here and he's like, how far is the food? They did eat. I even got them some drinks and sweeties, chips. But they're hungry again. And it's a bit late, I know. But they also had the... Um, their lunch is late. But I thought I'd get away with it. But clearly I did not. Mm -hmm. What's she doing? Do. Yes, but listen. Don't let her do that. Give her a toy back, please. Oh. Alex, what ya? Alex, what did you say? Yes. Okay, don't see. Don't let her beg. It's hers. Don't let her beg for a toy. Yeah. Throw it ya. Oh no, you know, <laughs> sorry for the interrupt, but well, Alex likes her to stand on her hind legs with her paws, like, it's very cute, I'm, I must admit, it's cute, but it's hers, he's not allowed to do that, it's her property, and, he's <laughs> and he just carries on, like little boys do, like I said, not a little boy anymore, but to me, always little boy, Alex, come now. Why anyway, what are you guys up to this weekend? I told you all that I'm up to. I'm going to try and record as much as I can. I'm going to take it from there. Alex, you are distracting me. <laughs> She's playing. It's her property. Leave it alone. She's going to fight you for it. It doesn't matter. It's hers. You guys, you know, you've got kids or had kids or for you that had or have yeah, boys. Breaking. Yeah, his voice is breaking. <laughs> Stitchy family, his voice is breaking. So he's talking. And you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is um, he likes to annoy. He, he plays, but I feel it's her stuff. Don't take it and make a big for it. It's her things. Don't take it. She gets very annoyed. But it's very cute when she does stand up with a little paws in the air. Or she goes and sit on a little bummy bum with her hands in the air. Mike always laughs at me because I don't... When I talk about Lola, I talk about her hands and her feet. I know it's paws, but it's her little hands and her little feet. In the morning when I wake up, I feel this little hand in my face. I want food. <laughs> oh, when, I'm, when I wake up, Mike just hears my voice. Oh, I want coffee, please, or chocolate <laughs> So imagine that. Oh. You can just hear the children in the rooms. He closed the door now. Sorry if it's a disturbance when everyone comes in and talk and, and go on. Today... It's been a bit of a whirlwind, not planned, but that's normal in this household. We plan it different, but that's not how it works out. Never, ever, 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 ever. There you go. What did I do now? This is annoying. Let me take a sip of tea. I'm super excited for that nine count silk and I just can't wait. Won't you be? I see all your lovely posts on my Facebook page, not page group. And it's amazing. Like I said, I don't answer if I don't comment on everyone. It will take me. The group is growing with a steady pace, so it will take me a day. <laughs> I do a quick run out and then I post and I like and but the comments on the videos I do get to them today not yet but I will later when everything's calm and relax I'll on my phone and I'll answer everyone and that's just how I do things
Close what you're doing, baby. Sorry, people. Oh, it's good. Come here. Come here, Papa. Here's a butterfly. Here's a butterfly, Mama. There's a butterfly. It's a Mama's Papa. <laughs> it's a butterfly. Sham, she. It's a. I showed you what it is. She throws it up in the air, but they put catnip in it, so she's fighting it to get the catnip, but. What she does is she throws it up in the air and then she goes off to it again. It's very cute. I've never seen actually a cat play fetch. Well, my cat does. I take my hairbands and um, just play fetch with them. I throw them. She loves my hairbands. She grabs them, picks them up and brings them. So I throw them again. It's very cute. I adore her. Leave a butterfly, Daddy. Do you remember her little booty, Peppa? Yes. I used to play fetch with me. Remember yeah, that? Yeah. Shame. There you go. Where's your butterfly? She's looking for it. She's very cute. But anyway. So, yeah, we were still on the point where I asked you what you're doing this weekend. Do you have big plans? I don't have big plans. I'm just doing a lot. And, um... Just a little while, and then I'm going to take a day where I will stitch, stitch, stitch. I'll make a video, or two, maybe one, and I'll just full-on stitch because I'm craving it. Things are just a bit away with the kids at the moment. The rest are just fine. Life is good, but, but busy. And it's the kids and school and this and that, but it's everything to do with school. Let's get that done and it's also it's turning summer now very quickly and the kids has grown in the winter so much you won't believe me it's a problem because guess what i thought that at least this summer the clothes will still fit but there is no chance these summer clothes are going to fit that's another headache so they need new clothes they are growing at the speed of light i promise you i don't know where they're going but they're going there very very quickly very very quickly they're growing up too fast i must stop the the growing process <laughs> i'll never do that but oh man mike's sitting here next to me they um their dad works over weekends and stuff um the biological father so they don't go there that often they normally with us but when they go there i promise you i mean mike like hey we're gonna have a weekend us alone oh things are gonna be so awesome they not gone for an hour then i sit with tears in the eyes <laughs> i miss my children not an hour i promise you hey mike is that the truth or not Mm. Empty this syndrome. Eh? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we planned and we like doing this and that, and then ach, an hour after that, that plans is out of the window because then I miss the kids. And then when they come home on the Sunday, and then I can't wait. I wake up and from our then I sit and wait for them. I wait for them. Oh, it's weird not having them when when you know they yeah. Uh, in daytime when they're in school, I know it's quiet. I've got Lola, Mike's always on the phone and on the work. You guys know who you am. And I've got Lola, but I know they're coming. I know exactly what time. I know what noises they make when they come. But when they don't come, oh, that's tragic. <laughs> Not something I love at all. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Alrighty then, let's see what's going on here. You see, I can chat easier with you when I'm in the loop with, with this. But I won't always do this, it takes too long. This is just easy. Because the changes are not that often. You just go slow because I'm in the loop. And my stitching looks exactly the same in or out the loop. This is just convenient now when I'm talking to you because I see when I do nine count and I chat to you, then I go easily through within under 15 minutes is a string or two and then um, it's a problem. Um, I'll be with you now. Mike wants to know what he must do 
goes the pasta is ready and the kit are ready and I must make the sauce and stuff. They can just hang on. So Mike, just take it off. Don't let it boil further, please. Uh, no, not yet. Thank you. He wants to know if he must strain it, but no, not yet. I don't want to get sticky pal sticky macaroni when I'm there. Should not touch it. Ah, uh ah, -uh. uh -uh. no, nugget. Nugget is trying to drink my tea. <laughs> yeah, nugget. I got him some some tea. Yeah. Mommy's tea is nice. So, yeah. Why don't you do me a favor and just boil the kettle, maybe? Thank you, babe. Oh, I'm just like, sorry that I interrupt, but I'm letting him help me while I stitch with you. And then he helps me, and when I'm done, then I can just do the final touches and feed the masses. So they're all going to come in here now again. Look at me like I'm a plate of food. There you go. Oh, you guys. I know you guys don't have... It's not evening by you. America doesn't have evening now. But us, it's late. It's already quarter past eight at night. Yeah, I know the food's late, but they had lunch late. They had lots of chippies and cooking and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's late at night, yeah. I think you guys are still in daytime. Six hours, yeah. It's daytime. We're almost nearing bedtime, but it's weekend. Gonna watch a movie and just blow off steam. Maybe stitch a bit, but I'll see how I feel. Because I say that now. The other time when I felt like this, I, I said to you guys I'm gonna stitch. I fell asleep with the stitch in my hand. Not because it was boring, I was just so tired I fell asleep while stitching. Imagine that. Oh. But it's not long, it doesn't last long, that's the problem. I fall asleep and then I wake up. Fall asleep, wake up. That's the problem. The falling asleep part's not a problem. It's the staying asleep. That's the problem. There's no noise, nothing that can wake me up. It's, it's, it is what it is. It started last year being like this. It's the dreaded menopause. And the other day I asked, how long does menopause last? And oh my soul, I almost had a hernia. Five years. Is that true? Can that be true? No, man. Why? It's terrible. Terrible, terrible. I hope it's not true. Well, if you know, please tell me because I don't know. It is hectic. Mike's arm is still sore. He doesn't listen to me. I want him to go and get it checked out, but no. Allergic to doctors, right? He will probably go when it falls off. I don't know. Hey, Lols. She's just looking at me. Oh, little Lola. Let me check this out. Yeah, so we only on the, you see the, the ring, it's only on the second thread and we're still going. Can go forever. I know it's not good, but you can go forever and ever and ever. Just doesn't stop. I'm going to do a major. No, I'm not going to do a major. That's dumb. Just going to stick it out, yeah. There you are. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do is I will chat to you again tomorrow on Silky Saturdays. I don't know what time, but it will happen. There's no maybe. It will definitely happen. Uh, I've got a house full of hungry people staring at me. I better go and feed them before they eat me, right? So... I will chat to you tomorrow again. You must have an awesome day, evening, morning, wherever you are in the world.